Welcome back guys to another video on my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to trade from 100,000 coins to 500,000 coins. We're going to be showing the best trade methods and tips that helped me go from you know one coin to almost 5.2 million as you can see in my top left hand screen. So make sure you watch to the end of the, end of the video. But before we get into that if you guys could drop a like and comment right now if you had an unlimited coin budget who would be the first player you would buy on foot now getting into the trading video guys so trading method number one is possibly my favorite trading method that's helped me go from 100,000 coins to 500,000 coins I'm going to show you right now and the reason why because it involves a bit of sniping but before we get into sniping we're going to be trading with fullback so the first fullback we're going to be looking at is Samedo in a shadow and the reason why we're looking at the UCL ones just because there's not as many of them on the market so let's just have a look at his price in a shadow and it looks like he goes for around about 29,000 coins now what we're going to want to do is just see the price of the normal one because the idea is guys that is we're gonna buy a normal one and then we're gonna go and snipe a shadow and then we're gonna go and sell it for 21,000 coins so we're gonna just buy this one for the purpose of the video 21,000 coins normally I would go for around about 20 and we're gonna put that into keep items now this is where it gets interesting and fun because we're now gonna go and snipe a shadow and the reason why I'm gonna go and snipe a shadow is because I'm pretty good at it and I'm gonna show you a different way of sniping a shadow than your regular uh, sniping a shadow so a lot of people would just go like that and snipe your a sniper sh shadow a traditional way but the way I'll do it is I'll go to the last listing even though there's one at 300 but obviously that's been bought is press square uh, square compare price and back out and then try and purchase one square back out and hopefully it will put us onto a car that's got an hour. Can we get that one? Ah, oh, lucky. Come on. Right, guys. So the third attempt, we picked up a shadow for 5,000 coins, which is pretty decent. A lot quicker, in my opinion, than doing it the other way that people tend to do. So now we're going to go into active squad and we're going to want to apply this shadow chemistry style to Samedo and then sell it for a profit. So let's find Samedo. Samedo is here. We're going to apply a shadow card, which will be under the chemistry style tab. There we go. Lovely. Right. Now we're going to put him into the transfer list. And the reason why is because we're going to make a, we're going to make a decent profit on him. So we know, I normally buy this card for 20,000 20, coins, but for the purpose of this video, I bought it for 21,000. So we've bought the base card for 21,000, a shadow cost 26,000, and we're going to sell this card on for 29,000. Obviously, after 6 p.m., guys, you could pick up these, um, these UCL cards for a little bit cheaper on open bid. So we're going to put that up for 29,000. And we're going to go and try and find another fullback because it's, it's always good to try to find other fullbacks and selling more than one fullback at once just so you got you know you can make more coins at the same time. So the first card we're going to be looking at is Jordi Alba. How much does this card go for in a shadow? And I reckon it was pretty expensive. So let's put in, I don't know, 70, 75k. Is there any at 75k? There is one at 75, uh, 74k that's just been put up. Now what we're going to do, guys, is the same what we did with Samedo. Is just look at the cheapest base card um, Jordi Alba, so it looks like 58,000 coins. So, normally for me to increase profit margins, I would pro probably try and pick this card up on a snipe or you know, on an open bid for around about 56,000. But obviously, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to pick it up for 58,000. And again, we're going to go into active squad and then we're going to put this Alba um, into the transfer list once we've put. A shadow card on it and we're going to try and sell it for a decent chunk of profit so let's go to apply consumable chemistry style and shadow takes a little bit long these menus then it sometimes hopefully you know just just be a bit quicker EA right so we've again we've picked up this card for 58,000 coins put a, sh a shadow on it which makes it to 63,000 coins that card was 74,000 coins so I'm going to try and do a decent undercut and we're going to put this card at 70,000 coins, which is 4,000 cheaper. So 67,000 coins after tax, which means we've made 4K profit on that card. So guys, this is trading method number two. Please try it out because it is a very good method. Now we're going to go on to the final trading method now. Guys, another one, well, another good uh, trading method is the 10, 20, 30 method. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you want to do is first um, set your parameters to 10, 20, 
thirty thousand coins. And what the objective is is to get as many open bids as possible. So we've got the chemistry style shadow, and we're going to probably use hunter as well, or you can use hunter. But for this video, we're just going to use shadow. And the objective is try and pick up some cards on open bids. And I have already won a couple, and I'm going to show you what I've won in my trade pile in a minute. So let's just go through and look at what players we should be identifying. So um, we're looking at Jorginho, 85 for 17,250. What I would do, I'd add that to the transfer targets. Let's go over, is, is there any more cards? Delaney, very good. As you can see, like a lot of these cards have been, people are just, you know, either... Um, old cards or latest team of the week to so just putting them up for sale look a very low start price the absolute minimum and then the bin is probably and their bin is the probably the highest they can actually pull it at so we're going to add this delaney and the same with samado look who puts an 84 samado up for 14,250 surely you'd put him up for his last bite now but obviously not so we're going to add him to the transfer targets let's have a look at decore as well because i know he goes around about 65k so let's go back out we're going to back out as you can see there was a couple more players and we're going to go into Hunter. Obviously, just changing the search parameters, we're going to have a look. This 85 Illich, I'm not too sure how much he goes for, so we're going to add him. Right, we're going to have a look at Illich. And as you see, there was also a Gundogan out of picture. Right, so Illich. We're going to have a look at Illich. How much does he go for in a Hunter? Obviously, he might go for a lot. So 20,000 coins he is. But is he... Is there any more above 20,000? Because, guys, the one tip I'm going to give you, never put cards up for the lowest buy it now. So, it'll probably sell for 21,000. So, if you get that card for, like, I don't know, 18.5K, it's probably not worth it. Let's just have a look how much. I... So, 19,000 isn't worth it. Uh, and did he sell? He didn't end sell, but, you know, he went for 54,000. 29,000 variety, Decore 65,000. So, I'm going to show you on my trade pile, right, what cards I've got. So obviously I'm still selling some Nelson Tomatoes. We've picked up a Thiago Silva for 27,000 coins. And we also picked up a Hummels for 33,500. And this was using the 10, 20, 30 method. I said the method's a lot better late at night. So let's just have a look at Thiago Silva now. How much does he go for? I've already sold for a couple already. So I, I know roughly what his price is. Let's change uh, Hunter to Shadow. Because obviously you don't really want to be looking for center halves in a... Hunter, so let's just see at 34,750. So there looks like there is a couple that's just been part 34k, 33,750. So again, guys, so I know because I've sold him from previous experience for 34,750, so I could either wait or um, undercut him. So what I'm going to do, obviously, I don't really need the coins right now. I'm going to put this card up for 34,750. We picked him up for 27k so we're going to make some decent coins we're going to make about 5k just on that card and let's have a look at hummels hummels probably goes for i think when i looked at him it was around about 38k so let's just have a look 38,000. so it looks like there is only one up it's only it's been up for quite a while half an hour again i'm not going to sell him for the you know lowest bite now so let's just see you know we're going to put him up for Probably 39,000. If there's no card at 39,000, I'm going to put him up at 39,000. Again, I don't really want to be listing cards up at the cheapest buy now because I want to maximize my profit. So we're going to put it up at 39,000. So, guys, through this trading method, just quick overview, just try and pick these cards up after 6 pm after SPC drops because obviously there's a lot of cards on the market. 10 30 method, let's go on to the next method. So, guys, we're on to the final method, and this is my favorite method just because of the fact that you can do this at any time of the day, and it is the gold shadow method. But this time, obviously, we've got more coins starting off with 100,000, or if you've got more than 100,000, and the search parameters is going to be 7,000 max price, 10,000 minimum buy it now. So, obviously, we'll search that, and you just see there's so many more cards. Um, between these price ranges on open bids. So you've got a lot, a ton more special. So we're gonna have a look at some of these special cards as well. Henderson, I know that's a decent deal. So let's just have a quick look. We're gonna have to be very quick here um, because there's quite a few cards. So Ricardo Pereira in a shadow right now goes for how much? 6K, seven, right, he goes for 6.8K. And I know that Henderson's a good deal because he goes for the same card as the, sh as the normal one. So if we put 3K here and we're gonna put Five point mm, five point nine. We'll try and bid five point nine. Just moving on to Henderson. Obviously, it might have looked like I've rushed a bit. I know this card um, 
goes goes for around about three and a half k just in the gold. So obviously the special card obviously would go for a little bit more. So let's just see if we can win that. Let's have a quick look at Gretzka. Again, this is another card that is out of packs at the moment um, because he's just got that uh, road to the final card. So let's just have a look at Gold Shadow. So at the at the moment the normal uh, Leon Gretzka goes for around about. Looks like seven and a half K. That's in the gold. So the shadow probably goes for a little bit more, probably around about nine thousand coins. So let's put a bid of three point five and let's try and bid this card at around about six point five K and see if that if that sells. And as you can see guys, obviously I was doing other methods if you've been watching this video. Um it's very important that you do loads of methods all at one time because you don't really want to put all your eggs in one basket um and just do one method because if I go back to my trade part quickly You'll see, like, the info method, I was just doing the 10, 20, 30 method. I picked up a tomato for 110, so we should make around about 4K there. Obviously, I'm doing the positional change, um, not positional change, the chemistry style change. So let's just see if we can win it. Let's just see if we can win this Henderson, because this would be a very good deal if we can. Because he could probably go for around about 5 to 6K. Um, so we're just going to have a quick look uh, at Henderson. Jordan Henderson, where are you, my friend? Jordan Henderson, special shadow Let's just see how much we could probably sell him for. So there's no, there's no, there's none at 8.1k. Obviously, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, it's not really realistic if we put him up for 4k. Obviously, that, oh, I missed that. I went for 7,500. Obviously, you've got to always bear in mind what cards you got because that's a good deal. 7,500 could probably sell that for 10k, even though the position and the chemistry style doesn't really match being a centre forward and a shadow. But let's just have a look. Someone's bidded 4.2k. I might just back out of this, guys. I'm not too sure because. Um, you know, I don't really want to take up too much time. So we just see what was sold. Tomato sold for twenty nine thousand. That's obviously very good. Let's just go back and let's just see. With I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is gonna be my last bid, guys. Right, guys. So obviously four point three k. He's probably gonna sell for around about six or seven. So guys, obviously just use that method. Open bids. Um, and just see how see how it goes. So guys, if you really like if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this on how to make coins, I'm preparing to do a one million no five hundred K to one million and then one million to five million. Let me know in the comment section below any thoughts of any future videos also. See you later guys.